Assalamu alaikum, dosto. Namaskar. Avadi kap. Get me nant. Wagen. Bonjour, mes amis. Hola, que tal? Yeah. Oh, hi, go samas. All right, guys. Today I want to show you a bit more of the area we're staying at, the E11, which is one of the posher areas of Islamabad. Now, on the internet, I read it's like. Like number three, you know, after DHA, or is it DHA, and Barrier Town, and you know, there's a few posh areas in Islamabad, and this being one of them, you know. So, since we're staying here, I'll show you around here, okay? Alright, so I didn't even know where to go, so you could walk this way, this way, this way, see, you see, see nice posh houses right away. Huh? Even a nice and posh land, Toyota Land Cruiser. Hey guys! <laughs> I'm trying to show my subscribers the cool area of Islamabad. Now it's Wednesday, Wednesday morning. It feels like a Sunday in Europe a little bit, you know. Especially here in this area, you know, you could be anywhere really. I mean, in any warm country, of course. I mean, it could you could be here even in Switzerland, maybe some some areas, you know, during their summer. But not winter, of course. See this house here, for example, you know. It's not too big, but actually it is bigger than it looks. And there's, there's bigger ones, of course, you know, further up. We're going further up. And just want to show you a little bit here. This is like the beginning of the, the housing uh, area. See, nice, yeah, nice big terraces. Yeah, see here, you can see also people having, you know, several cars. Yeah, this could this is so European this house here. It's not that super posh, but you know, it's kind of big and color wise it could be this could totally be in Switzerland. Here there are building as well, new houses there. These are smaller, there are bigger ones over there, but we'll go there in a jiffy. As well here there are building. See this is cool, huh? There I don't even know what you call this kind of architecture. You know, they're flat roofed. They look you know, like block. See, you can tell it's, it's posh because of the barbed wire here. Huh? Pretty cool. Nice. Pretty new. Around here. See cars parked inside. They have some flowers in front. Yeah, and here, see, they're building a new one right next door. Yeah, so this is also, it's happening. It's quite popular among the, you know, middle and upper classes to be building here in E11. As well, this one is, seems to be pretty new. Huh, what do you say? Cool, huh? This, look, this, this looks very empty. This is probably empty. I don't know if this is new, but it's not so old. Huh? I like this on this side so is this posh enough for you guys i don't know for me it's quite posh i don't know what they go for here but i think they're not cheap houses right you wanted me to show a little bit more of the posh um islamabad or posh pakistan and here we go yeah you you don't feel like in pakistan anymore see this also seems to be very new you know it's pretty big actually these are also, you know, they're they're long, they're not so wide here. Well, this is the, the complete corner house, which is, yeah, this is definitely a new house. Uh, I would like to go in and check the inside, but of course, I'm not gonna be knocking at someone's door. Uh, this nobody's living here yet, so this is like freshly finished, very posh, I think. Maybe you guys think it's not so posh. This house has almost a little bit of an English look because of the, you know, the bricks, the red bricks, but of course not, not, not from the architecture. But it, it, it does give it a, a European look, I think. Huh? Also a very nice street here. And also bricks like this here. Yeah, you, this, this, this area, you could be anywhere. You could be, you know, Florida, in Mauritius, 
in certain parts of Malaysia. Assalamu alaikum. Nice house, huh? Here as well. And see these these cool trees here. I like those. They almost look like like uh, like they're pine trees, but they're like tropical kinds of pines, right? See nice flowers here. Uh, yeah, these are nice houses here. Oh, I do like this. But I cannot just knock on someone's door and ask if they show me the inside. Maybe I could, but you know. I don't know if they would. They would probably think, what the hell? Do I have subscribers from here? I actually, just the other day, I met a guy who said he lives here. And he's a subscriber. Maybe he lives here. Come on, show me your, your house. You live in a, in a fancy house like this? I would like to see that. Huh? And mind you, this, these are like family houses. They're like one family lives there. It's not like there are, there are several family living in these houses. There's someone living here. I mean, maybe big families, but that's a pretty big house here. Here again. I'll check this out. All right, another road like this. And over there on the other side, you see there's there's like houses for you know several families, but these are just single family houses, pretty posh ones, I would say. Huh? This one. Oh, there are lots of rooms, you know, this is bigger than looks, you know, because it has this, this card box look a bit, in a bit. Uh, but th these, of course, they're modern, they're, they're big, they're spacious. Huh? Oh, guys, is this posh enough for you? I don't know. For me it is, but maybe some of say, you say, will say right in the comment section again. Oh, dude, this, you're not in the wrong, and you're not in the right area. There are a lot of posher ones, I'm sure. I'm sure like Barrio Town, uh, even have posher areas, but still, this is not exactly like downtown Ravalpindi here, right? See here? This is a very nice house, huh? It's big and spacious, like that, nice, nice cars. You can also see if they have nice cars. It seems to be very new. Well, it's just well maintained, but I'm not sure, but yeah, looks new. See it also? Full of cars, they got lots of cars in there. They're probably still sleeping. Two more days of Ramadan. Then the Eid festival will begin. Which will be of course difficult uh, because of the lockdown. Uh, yeah, this makes a nice area just for, you know to go for walks. As well because they're not, you know, not so many cars driving by, so with the kids they can play anywhere. Huh? That looks almost like a church, that house. <laughs> of course, it's got Arabic writing. Uh, so that makes it not a church house, right? Also like this one. Yeah, I saw some areas with even bigger houses, but these are good houses. You know, they're like upper middle class or maybe, maybe they're upper class, I'm not sure. You know, very modern, like it. This here, they seem to be very new as well. Nobody's around. Huh? Yeah, guys, so, showing a little bit around where we live, where we stay. Actually, we're just staying a bit, you know, off these family houses in one of the, you know, commercial centers. There's always commercial centers in these uh, living areas, you know, with, with markets, with shops all kinds of shops you know you basically could stay in these in these living uh, communities and not ever leave because you can get anything you want they even have mosques in there you know yeah i mean it's interesting to see that for me and yeah lots of the subscribers always say please do uh show a bit more of the of the the richer pakistan the posher the nicer, if you will, you know, but of course this is not, for us Westerners, this is not so interesting. We were much more interested in seeing, you know, the the old side of Pakistan, or you know, any country really, you know. We're not so interested in the, in the westernized, in the modernized areas, in the posher areas, you know. 
because we want to see, you know, lots of people and the wildness and craziness and the honking horns, you know, and, and history. But, you know, I think it's important to see both. So I will in the future, you know, try to show both, you know, both sides. You know, even when I was in Lahore, I, I actually, I didn't, I wanted to spend more time there, but then we, you know, kind of had to leave because we planned on spending Ramadan here. And so I didn't film any of the modern side of Lahore. And Lahore has got lots of modern, you know, parts as well, you know. But still, you know, of course, the, the walled city, the old city is the most important for us or the most interesting for us. Brush here? Where'd you find that? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah, guys. Uh, so I have to mention this here on the channel as well. Uh, you know, my wife is not getting fatter. It's just she's just pregnant. You know, a little bit of pregnant. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, because it's, uh, some remarks. Now nobody made a remark, but you know, she someone said, "Oh, she looks so tired and stuff." Yeah. So we're gonna have a third member. And our third, and our fifth member of the family, a third child. But you know, in October or so, so still ways to go, just in case you're wondering. You have thought, you know, oh my god, is why she's getting fatter and fatter. <laughs> rounder and rounder. Okay, so no need to worry. We're kinda like expanding. Well like a company, right? It kind of like is like a present we brought from Malaysia, you know. Anyway, let's look at some uh, some more buildings. That's a big house here, huh? Quite fancy. What do you think, guys? Is that is that the kind of posh area we were talking about? Huh? To me, it is. I'd find this posh anywhere. Here as well, a gigantic house, and usually they have one name, these houses. So, oh, well, these are two, of course, next to each other. The 50 and the 21, uh, 25. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Uh, also, yeah, this is so Switzerland, actually. This could be so everywhere in Europe, especially with these trees. It's funny, you know? It's like... Also with this corner here, with this house, which is, you know, very, very international. Uh, these houses would be expensive here probably, and they would be expensive, you know, in Europe as well. It's nice, I like it here. I like the flowers, the trees, the bushes. I like that there's a palm tree. If I have a house, I'd make sure that there's a palm tree in front of it too, or several ones. See, this almost looks like yeah, this could very well, we could be definitely in the south of Switzerland during summer. This is, you could be anywhere here. Yeah. Here as well. It's a nice area. Also here in, in Islamabad, you don't have the, the super tropical heat. You know, it's not so humid. So it's just, yeah, it feels like European summer. This one also nice. It'd be nice to see this from inside, but yeah. Not going to. I just want to show a little bit of the neighborhood. I like that. Huh? Why don't we have a house like that? <laughs> because we travel the world and yeah, are not working on our imperium. Yeah, well, have a chicken. That's nice. I like chicken. I like chicken in more than one way. They're like friends and their food. Well, isn't that nice? <laughs> okay, guys, I don't want to bore. <laughs> that dog. Anyway, guys. Uh, yeah, I don't want to bore you. I'm going to stop soon. Just want to show a little bit more. I like this street, actually. Yeah. That's also a pretty big house. Although, it's not my favorite one. I like this. It's very nice. This is very modern. Salam alaikum. You know, with different levels and different different um, balconies, or you know, and then and of course on top you have a you know rooftop terrace. Most of these, they're, this is pretty nice. You know, if you have your own house in a nice area with a nice rooftop terrace, of course that's a bit liking it.
Yes, it is style if you have palm trees or whatever these are in front of your house, I would say. Huh? Olive, do you like these houses? All right. I like this house, Vincent. Uh, we should rent this. I think it's not available. I like the, I like these flowers once more. I have to mention that. I love flowers. They don't, they don't smell. Hey, don't destroy the flowers, dude. What do you say? Do you like it here or do you like it better? What do you prefer, old or new Pakistan? Uh, old. Yeah, old is cooler, you know, kind of like. But, you know, if you stay here long, long term, maybe this would be nice, right? Nice houses. Hey. Yeah, probably. Hey, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> are you warming up towards the camera? Are you still hating it? He hates it. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe a little warm up, I'm sure. Anyway, guys, let's go further. Uh, let's get some ice cream. Okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, yeah, rather, rather, rather more busy area, or rather here. More busy. More busy because. More interesting. And, and it's it, a, bit, a bit boring. It should be boring, yeah. Maybe rich people are bored, or maybe they work all the time, and you know they hardly pass any time here. So they they, they just. They have their cars. I don't know. They have the nice cars. I should have Netflix. <laughs> What does it feel like to be pregnant in Pakistan? I still feel very good. All right. <laughs> I'm happy about that. It's a nice area, but then like the guardian's house looks like shit. Come on. Guys, new paint job, please. Oh. <laughs> All right, since nobody will invite me to their home, let's go to into one of those being built, you know, gives you an idea, you know. Huh? There's a little room here. Check out with the nice marble, you can say, you know, these marble plate. Yeah, these are lots of rooms. Oh, oh, can I look around? See, wow, this, this is big, it's, it's spacious, you know how. Lots of rooms, you know, big family. Yeah. Wow. Are you building this? Yeah. this? You will live here or no, you're building? Yeah. Not living. You're architect? Yeah. Bu builder? Yeah. All right. How long does it take? How, how many, how, one year, two years? How long to finish one, two year, to finish one house like this? Ah, but <laughs> okay. Ah, three. Three. Yeah. Ah, okay. How do you go up? Ah, let's go and check it out. Ah, so ah, this is below. All right. All right. Let's check it out real quick. Ah, oh, wow. See here as well, big space. This garage, no, oh, back in the back. So, back side. Okay. One, one, no, one, two, three. T uh, tiga, and uh, no tiga. Uh, to, to build this, to finish the house, how long does it take? Does it take one year? Uh, I think it doesn't speak so much English. All right. a little bit okay all right still lots of work to do yeah all right I would like to know how long it takes oh, okay okay wow all right shukriya <laughs> okay thank you so much eh? shukriya <laughs> okay so we saw a little bit uh, yeah don't wanna waste your time and looking at because at the, the, these are not finished yet i did ask him how long it would take um for a house like this to finish but yeah language barrier yeah i have to improve my urdu by a lot 
or I pass by sometimes because they the owners have these birds in in, in here you know these are like are you cranes or some kind of herons check out the noises they make all right maybe it's better than a watchdog I don't know hey guys it's pretty cool but actually I find it very sad I must tell you the truth you know whole birds like this they need to fly dude come on yeah so these housing communities societies authorities you know call it whatever you want this is quite new to me you know I've never seen a country that has so many of them I, mean, I only saw two big cities so far here in Pakistan Lahore and Islamabad well slash Rawalpindi as well but you know and they have everything you know like here they have their own mosque I'm not going inside now but it's actually a nice mosque here yeah. also of course they have caretakers you know see the streets are pretty clean so they swipe the streets every day salam alaikum the gardener as well who do the the work you know so these housing societies look what they look like right like pretty clean you know nice yeah nice. Ah, salam alaikum I'm showing the world a little bit huh? I show a little bit uh, the area it's nice you're building this uh -huh. you're, you're the owner or the builder you build how long for one house like this one year two year three years now three years already two years to all together three years oh wow okay well have fun <laughs> 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 I don't understand. <laughs> no, 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 just a bit. Okay. Bye-bye. Huh? It's good. <laughs> nah, sugar. I saw one before over there. Sugar. I'll go around. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, nice cars. Nice little house. Nice little lawn. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if these guys are on. They're probably workers or builders. Yeah, I think lots of people who actually live in these houses probably speak good English, but I don't meet them. They're, yeah, they're not around. They don't want to talk to moonshine. Weird. And I'm sure there are posher, even posher areas, but maybe, you know, when in the next big town, if I'll go, you know, show those two or a little bit. It's actually cool here, I like it. Yeah, uh, okay, let's call this a video and guys, soon we'll be going to Peshawar. Peshawar, right? And see some old stuff, you know. See, see you visit the old town. Hopefully uh, the COVID rate will have gone down, hopefully things will be open hopefully I can do some food videos and try some of that famous Peshawari food and you know I show some nice people you know also you know here I, I want to talk to people but the people I meet you know here I don't have any any common language anyway guys that's the cars around here you can you can see it's still Ramadan and people are sleeping in Even in the posh area. Anyway guys. I hope this is not too long. It's not too much of a torture and guys I wish you already now a happy Eid Because Ramadan will be finished, you know, there's the two more days today and tomorrow and then Eid al-Fitr uh, is Eid al-Fitr uh, will start uh, Okay guys take care and Get him a